Is that whip circle on? I just saw a drive out. Yes. Is that okay with you? Oh, I'm delighted for you, honey. <laughs> I want you to meet some nice guy. Be with some nice guy that puts you first. My son should have done that. He didn't. Couldn't, because of Brooke. Oh, T. Uh, they're having a rather rough patch of it, actually. Oh, yes, and that's all courtesy of Katie, Brooke's own sister, because of their loyalty to each other. You know, the way they pushed Steffi aside so they can bring in yet another Logan? Hope, her niece. You'd think Brooke would learn, but... No, she never does. First, she sided with Rick against Ridge, and, and then this latest thing of allowing Katie to treat Steffi the way she is, that's causing problems, and, and I just don't know how much more a man is supposed to take. doing this is my home I don't even want to go in because oh, I can't handle this I can't go on this way I went to see Brooke I just thought that I should talk to her I told her I, I said you're you're on a treacherous slope here you know, you're choosing your daughter at your own expense, at the expense of your happiness with Ridge. Only she doesn't see it that way. No. She thinks she can work miracles. Hello? You'll never guess where I am. Ridge? Sitting in my car in front of my house. Well, it doesn't really feel like my house because they're inside. They who? The Logan sisters. Having dinner together. It's not enough for Katie to lower her power over me at the office. Now she's making my life miserable at home, too. I can't take it, Taylor. This has got to stop. I need you to help me make it stop. me for a minute. We, you know, I forgot to put the tea. Oh, can you, can you don't, don't worry. Okay. Taylor, are you there? Yes, I, I, I'm not really sure what it is you're asking me to do. I just feel like I'm at the end of my rope here. I've never felt so frustrated. I can't find some way to get past this. Get past what? My anger towards Katie. What she's doing to our daughter. Everything she and Spencer have done to my family. I can't even go in there because Katie's in there. Making Brooke believe that none of this is, none of this is personal. Or if it is, it's me who's making it that way. No. No, that's not true. I know that. Yeah, but does my wife. Brooke keeps saying not to make this about Logan's versus Forrester's. But if I'm the one that's doing that, then it's her sister who's pitting the families against each other. I'd like to go in there right now and wring Katie's neck. Don't say things like that. You're not a violent man. Yeah, well, that's what's scaring me, Doc. Having the kind of thoughts I've been having. I'm trying every way not to let this damage my marriage. What am I supposed to do when I feel so utterly shut out, pushed aside, my family too? I know I need to find acceptance, but how? Especially now, with the hope for the future campaign being thrown in my face and Steffi's. So, do you really feel like, like Katie's just using hope? Yeah, to stick it to me and our daughter. It's just like she's using this dinner tonight to push a bigger wedge between Brooke and me. Listen, I... Let me just explain something to you that you're probably dealing with right now. It's called conflict theory, and I'm not going to go into the whole thing right now, but... Basically, what it comes down to is you're in a situation, you feel conflicted, and, and you can either do one of three things. You can fight, or you can flee, or you can freeze. And right now, you're feeling very uncomfortable. And it, you know, you're sitting there, you're sitting in the, in the driveway, and you can't move. You don't know what to do. You're freezing. So what should I do? Well, it doesn't seem like a very good option for you to go in the door right now. I don't think that would be good. So I guess the only other thing you could do would, would be, you know, to flee. And go where? The nearest bar? No, no, I don't know. You could come here if you want. I mean... Your mom's, you know, would be here with you, your your kids. 
We'd all be here for you to, to get you through it or just leave you alone, let you have some peace if that's what you want, anything, you know, whatever you need. We would do that for you, to, to help you. We're here for you. Thank you. For what? For so much that I don't really know where to start. But mostly for being on the other end of the phone tonight. Well, I almost wasn't. Whip and I had a date, but... You know, we ended it early. Sorry you did. Sorry I ended the date? I'm sorry it's taking me this long to make the decision I have. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm finally seeing things clearly. I'm a little confused because 20 minutes ago you were on the phone with me telling me that things were basically a disaster. So... Yeah, I know. But just hearing your voice, you have a very calming presence in my life, Taylor. Well, you sounded very exasperated. You sounded anything but calm. Because I was fighting what I knew I had to do. I made a mistake, Doc. Same mistake I've been making over and over for years. Every time Brooke and I would find our way back to each other, I tell myself, this time will be different. This time we won't end up where we always have before, but that's where we're headed. And why I didn't want to go in that house tonight. It wasn't just Katie. It's because I knew, I know, deep down, this is it. This is how it has to be. This is how what has to be? You love Brooke. Not enough. It isn't enough. I always believed it was, but it isn't. Not anymore. And after tonight, Brooke can have her sisters. We can run the company. Everything I have is hers anyway. That's why I'm leaving. That's why I have to leave, Doc. I am done. No, 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 you're not done because the fact that you just said that tells me that you're not done. Ridge, I'm, I'm trying to be here for you, but you can't just come over here and tell me that your marriage is over again. You can't expect me just... <sighs> you're putting me in a really bad position, Ridge. You do this to me, and it... It really... It really upsets me. I don't know if you understand that it does that to me. I mean, really, when you... You come over here and you say this to me, and, and you call me Doc, do you know what that does to me? Do you have any idea how that just... It just pulls at my heart. I mean, it reminds me when I was your wife, and that... We were lovers, and we had a commitment, and I don't... I don't even want you to use a word like that with me if you... If you don't mean it, you have to understand that I don't... I can't have you do that. But I do understand. I very much understand. Doc. Doc. 